you know, for this review, I'm just going to go in my closet, dig out my cowboy hat, get a western shirt, pull out the six shooter, you know, get all cowboy out, you know, but after seeing this movie, <laughs> going to any kind of extremes to review it is not worth it. So what's the story with A Million Ways to Die in the West? Okay, well, uh, Seth MacFarlane, uh, he had 40 million dollars, he called up a bunch of his friends on his contact list, big stars, he made a comedy western, and it's supposed to be funny. Yeah. Many, 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 many times I had to ask myself while watching this movie, Am I watching a comedy? I mean, it's, I see a western, it's a pretty good western, but am I watching a comedy? There's Seth MacFarlane, he's a funny guy. I like Donald Guy, I actually have a few seasons on DVD. I love Ted. Is this a comedy? Never once did I actually want to laugh out loud. I mean, I actually saw this movie by myself. I didn't see it with any friends. I went in there. Just a complete loner. And I saw it with a, very, a really small crowd. I saw it early. There wasn't very many people in the theater. And, man, it, it just, like, the jokes are so flat. Many times, it just, everything just felt dead. The whole tone of watching this movie felt dead. There wasn't anybody really laughing with this movie. So I kind of looked at myself and said, I guess I'm not in the wrong. I'm, I'm glad I'm not laughing at this movie. Otherwise, I'd come across as a complete idiot. Unfortunately, there was this one guy laughing with this one guy that dealt with nothing but diarrhea. And I mean, I, I'm thinking, dude, you think that's funny? And then I'm also thinking, Seth? Did you have to resort, resort to pee and poo, poo jokes? Damn. As I said, I like Seth MacFarlane, but his character just comes off as a whiner. There are times when he's kind of charming and he's kind of, you know, you know, has a, a, a comeback for everything. But it's not really funny. And then there are times when he's just, he goes on these tangents, like that scene you, you probably saw in the trailer when he's talking about how everything can kill you in the West. That scene just goes on forever, and it's like, I, I wanted to just say, shut up already. Liam Neeson, who plays the villain, because he's the villain, never once did I, did I ever expect him to do anything funny. But for the first time, I looked at Liam Neeson, and I, I, I can almost hear in his head, I have got to start doing roles just for money. Charlie Theron, Charlie Theron, I just, I wanted to sound fancy. She's by far the best person in this movie. Not because she's funny, but because she's so beautiful and radiant, I couldn't take my eyes off of her. Now, I will say that the chemistry between her and Seth was really good. I really liked them as an on-screen couple. But why wasn't it funny? Yes, there are some jokes that are chuckle-worthy, especially the religion jokes, um, but... God, so much of it is just like, what is happening? Why isn't this funny? Is this Seth MacFarlane? Is this really him? Or is this an imposter? And then I remember, oh yeah, this is also the same guy that did The Cleveland Show and American Dad, a show that's not really funny, but watchable and kind of entertaining. And that's what this movie is. It's watchable and kind of entertaining. I like the western aspect of it, but god damn it. Make me laugh. So at least they're on. Why are you with Sean Penn? I'm just asking. Why, why him? So I was really, really, really disappointed with this movie. I was looking forward to it. Not even the cameos made me laugh. I, I heard that the cameos were great. Not even the cameos were that great. So yeah, I was Incredibly disappointed with this movie, in case you can't tell, and I actually did say it already. Um, there were a few things I kind of liked about the movie, but overall, god damn it. I'm going to be generous though, I'm going to give it a 2.5 out of 5. 2.5 out of 5. Doesn't really deserve it, but 
I do have a soft spot for Seth MacFarlane, and I really hope that he can make a better movie in the near future. Not necessarily Ted 2. I don't even want Ted 2. I love Ted, but come on, man. Not Ted 2. But after this fiasco, screw it. I'll take it. Anyway, y'all have a good one. Peace. What?